I got I to make something clear, Goo. Yeah. I, there's only one thing I disagree with you with about, and that is whether this, let's say, six-man core right now is a championship okay. team or not. You think it still gives you a chance. No doubt. Or at least its best right. chance. I don't even disagree with that. I just don't think it's a championship group anymore. Okay. So, so, but I get why you might have to bring Draymond back and kind of run it back, even though you're not a championship team. So I, I just want to, like, I, I feel nothing, you. nothing you're saying. Yeah. I'm like, you're crazy. I'm just, I just don't, I hate, I hate every. Uh, option. option. That, I hate every option that the Warriors are looking at. And Stani, uh, Evan Spadoni. I don't basketball world Hollinger. I mean, man, don't read that article that he just brought up about where the Warriors are. You'll think they'll never get out. But I was just saying to myself during the break, this is the first time in a long time we've really agreed. But you're going to tell me I can't go here, but you're not my daddy, so I'm gonna go here. <laughs> the year before they won the title last year. You would have sent me to Napa State or anybody that said the Warriors are about to beat the Boston Celtics in six. So the reason I bring that up is I can. And it was something that they did collectively and shocked the world. So I know they lost against the Lakers. And, Stanley, I really do dislike the fact that you think the Wiggins' absence and Curry missing – the amount of games he missed and Clay not playing back to back to after January, that went into the 44 win total. But now I'm just like, okay, maybe this is going to make all players lick themselves in the mirror, not just basketball wise, but personal uh, personality wise, and they're going to put their best foot forward next season. I'm just telling you what's concerning me and who wouldn't be on the team moving forward is Kaminga and Poole because they have demonstrated that it's bigger than basketball. It's about their brand. And I got hit in the face and embarrassed cartoons. If I'm Jordan Poole, I get that. So if you're going to bring the whole band back, you got to have a real ass meeting, Stani. And I don't think you can. So that's what, what this ain't just about. Oh, let's run it back. We're all on the same page like the Lakers were. Stani, there's some stuff going on, some backstabbing or some resentment, animosity. So I, from Kaminga to Kerr, maybe pull to Kerr. Is Kerr going to say, you know what, guys, behind closed doors? I, I, I treat, I, I manage you guys wrong. I did it wrong to the youngsters. Like maybe that'll go a long way to get the best out of Kaminga and Pool. Do you? Here's here's what I'm being so serious. Here's man. what here's what people are leaving out of the equation. One of the reasons that the Warriors traded Wiseman, one of the reasons why Kaminga didn't play a lot, is because the veterans wanted other guys. Because it, it's it wasn't just Steve Kerr saying I'm not playing Kaminga. Wow. It was an extension of Steve Kerr. It was also the veterans basically saying in 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 their way, you gotta be kidding me if you think we're gonna win it with why we, we heard Iguodala say it last year. Yep. Steph, and Curry backed Steph it up. Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Clay Thompson look at Kaminga and say, We can't win a title with him, Steve. And I think Steve agrees. And, so that's okay. why he doesn't okay. play a lot. But now when you say it that way, that's a turnoff for me because they should have never been drafted. Well, so that's when you too drafted late for that. them, Stani, they made a mistake. You pissed it's the management, pissed off the OGs. Yeah, no kidding. But I believe they that. won a title, and it wasn't a thing. They won a but title. Now it's a thing, in spite and of the wow. young players last year, not because of them. There is no doubt the the big three had to huddle and be like, "We did it with them giving us basically minimal help." Rafi in Berkeley. Hey, Rafi. How you doing, guys? Hanging in, buddy. I got I got a combination for you. you All know, right. I think I think the Warriors. I think they lost this year because of the combination of culture and age. And what I think is that age kind of leads to culture. And when you look at the teams who are still in it, you've got the Celtics. Dying to win. You've got the Nuggets, who everybody kind of hates on, who are 
really, really good, and they're dying to win. You have a bunch of young guys surrounded by two guys in AD and LeBron who can truly set a culture. With LeBron, you're talking about one of the greatest. And then, unfortunately for us, because I'm a Warriors fan, you got the guys on the podium after they lose, and they're not kicking chairs. They're not cursing anyone out. Mm. They're calm and methodical. They're like, no, we're, we're okay. And the cultural issue here for me and them is that they're not okay. And their desire, I believe, to win was not really there. They're not as hungry. And when you look at the way they played throughout the whole year, that filters down to everybody else. And then all of a sudden, no one's quite as hungry. And it's not that I don't think they tried, but I don't think they were. I don't think they were dying to win. And I think that everybody else who's still in it can they get that back? Dying to win. Can they get that back? You know, I think that age makes it really hard to get it back because Me I too. think that when you're load managing and things like that, it it's hard to kind of have that killer instinct when you. When you're taking 25 games off. Right. I'm with Man. you, Ralphie. I'm with you. Uh, Stephen A. Smith of ESPN, where he was talking about Bob Uh-oh. Myers. We've got him. Don't forget Bob Myers. Yeah. Don't forget Bob Myers. Let's hear what Stephen A. says about Myers and the Warriors. I'm just giving you my opinion. My personal opinion is that there are people within the Warriors organization that want to ascend that Joe Lacob wants to give an opportunity and the Warriors ownership want to give an opportunity to ascend one of them being his son Kirk who obviously knows a thing or two about the game of basketball and has been very instrumental in helping Bob Myers and others oh boy wow and and we had we had Joe Lacob on the show earlier this year I believe and he said we are very deep in our front office yeah I was he did no I and it blew me away like because when, no, normally, when you think of front office, you think of the head, you know, the, the, the liaison, the lead, and that's Bob Myers. But when you hear depth, you think about, okay, other, you know, we got somebody else that could, could hold it down. I just, I don't know. You know, the other thing is, let's say uh, Austin says forget Myers. He doesn't play. Okay, let's say Myers takes off, all right? Who's the GM? Who becomes the GM? An outsider? So you're going to bring in an outsider, and what are you going to ask that person to do? Wow. Break it up? I mean, because, yeah, it's a... Well, because Joe Lacob could, could take over those duties, Donnie. I essentially... Like, that's the thing. When I, I said this yesterday. Yeah. Oh, Kirk Lacob's gone more for the ownership track. Okay, fine. That means he's the number one voice in basketball decisions. Kirk, if that's what happens. Yeah. So... The model for the Golden State Warriors, whether we like it or not, is Joe Lacob was involved. And Kirk Lacob's going to be involved. Wow. So, whoever it is, if it's Jerry West, I'm just talking. Steiny, this is a hell of a project they have on their hands. You got the great staff. You got Clay. You got Dre. But, man, this is, this is a bear. Tony and Lafayette. What's up, Tony? How you doing, man? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm just calling. I'm getting all kinds of opinions there. One thing that uh, I think that uh, we are missing, we have to realize that we just won the championship last year. And we, on top of that, we know we have age behind. We played all, all the way through summer. And uh, age plus we have, for example, a uh, uh, topic about Thompson. We know they have obligation toward the sponsors. And I know in the past he's going to have to go to China to satisfy the sponsors, which means year-round our players, uh, they are very busy and exhausted. That is one. The second one, you have these players, w- once you are a champion and you have a dynasty, each team rest their players before they play the, uh, the, uh, the Warriors during this regular season, and the whole team shows up against the Warriors slash Dynasty, 
and they show their 100%, and they take that play that game as a playoff game, and we were struggling to just barely make the playoffs. As a result, we got to the playoffs somehow, and we had a tough time with Sacramento, and uh, this is the second uh, uh, point. Uh, we did not have that. We got the short stick from the league. Because, as we know, the East Coast doesn't like the the Warriors very much. And uh, the, I got they, you. I got you, Tony. You made some good points there. Some good points there yeah, he, about exhaustion. My question would be, are they going to uh, – if they're exhausted, can they be less exhausted next year? Well, yeah, I think now you're not playing in the conference finals or finals. So the answer would be yes. But I wish that was it. Snotty, it wasn't it. I'm just telling you, I've been consistent with you, Evan, and Spadoni, man. The two big lineup and all the responsibility on Steph and Clay and Wiggins, I just feel like that's come to a head. And when the teams play the Warriors now, they can almost make that, they could use that to their advantage. Okay, I'm playing devil's okay, advocate. Okay, no doubt, Al Pacino. So then, get, so then start moving off Draymond, right? It's wrong because you can't tell me what would come in the place of Draymond. Kaminga. Now, if Kaminga averaged eight points and I felt better about him because I actually seen it, I'd be like, Matt, you're ready. Let's go. I don't feel that way. See, I feel like he's a head case. I almost feel, too, like if the Warriors say bye-bye to Draymond or say we're not offering you, we're not going to re-sign you, rip up your contract and re-sign you, you know what? And it is time. We're going with we're going with Kaminga. I can't imagine Curry going along with that. Oh man! Let and Steve Kerr even. Draymond, go bye bye. <laughs>